Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Justin. And you're watching episode 29 of Dang It Podcast. As you see, I don't have Gabe with me today. So that means I'm on my own for this one. Kidding. We have a reoccurring cast member from Dang It Podcast coming to join with us for the next two episodes. Here with us right now is Sefi. Hi! two episodes and then I go back to school but that's okay that's okay we're making sure that she has as much time for the podcast as when other other people come in yes yes hello everybody how's it been it's been a while so yeah so for today's podcast we're going to talk about not only about other things like Thanksgiving and Black Friday and Cyber Monday and Christmas but we're going to talk about what Steffi's been up to Hey, okay, excuse me guys, I'm a little bit sick, so sorry. Yeah. If anything, just try to speak up and that's all you gotta do. Got it. Because you're having the microphones right there. Yes, okay. What's your first impressions on the microphone, first of all? Um, I love it, actually. I was really surprised, like, seeing, like, your guys' like, podcast, and I was like, oh, that's a new addition. There's a microphone now in this, so it's pretty cool. And I actually get to experience that now. So, uh, yeah, I like it. It's pretty nice. And for the price you got it for, yeah. I always go with Amazon, always. Amazon never fails. Never fails. Almost never fails. Yeah, almost never, <laughs> almost fails. never fails. I mean, we just gotta give it that like 97%. Yeah. Cause okay, no one I can get 100%, come on. No, no, no. So Sefi, what have you been up to? Oh gosh, what have I been up to? Um, well, I went back to school, obviously. I left here August 20th, I think. Mm-hmm. And moved into my new apartment with uh, my three other roommates. So that was pretty nice. I live with three other girls. Nice, cute little apartment. Um, I've just been up to studying a lot, studying my butt off. Um, been hanging out with a lot of friends. Got to meet a lot of new people. Been going out to parties. Obviously, it's San Diego State. What are you going to do? You're going to go out to parties. But I've also been exploring San Diego a lot more. I found a lot, a lot of nice places to go to. Really? Like uh, Pacific Beach, Mission Beach. Um, Passed by SeaWorld a couple times. I've been going a lot of places, so uh, I don't know, I'm just trying to keep myself busy. Um, I was homesick for a while, oh. and then I kind of got over it. I did come back. Kind of got over it. Kind of got over it. I did come back in October, though, for a family birthday party, but I was only home for the weekend, so I couldn't do anything. And then I uh, went back, and then now I'm here. So I've basically just been studying and hanging out with friends yeah. and just, you know, living my life in San Diego. But it's good to be home. I uh, I missed this setting, you know? I missed coming to do podcasts, so that's my life right now, is studying and then on the weekends partying. You know, uh, I remember Gabe talking to me about this, but I was surprised that you're actually a party person because I never saw you as one when I was in high school. You know, I surprised myself actually because when I first got to school freshman year, I was like, oh, I'm just going to stay in my room. I didn't really go out anywhere. And then, uh, I don't know, it just depends on like the friends that you make. They invite you places and then you go and you experience these things and then you kind of like go on your own and like find, you know, I don't know. but. Yeah, I kind of surprised myself, actually. But I'm not crazy, too crazy. No, you're not too crazy. Nah, I'm safe, don't worry. If anything, it's like the casual party goer. Yeah, the casual, like, hey, how's it going? Sip a drink in the background. Just being like, <laughs> Sip a drink in the background. Yeah, just standing Watching all the people who are actually over drinking. Exactly. Just <laughs> <laughs> she fell. Jeez. Basically. I gotta be so rude. <laughs> See how I just fly off the situation here? Yeah, yeah, I like it. So the friends you've made so far at your school, would you say these are like friends that you'd like to stay in contact with for like a long, long time? Oh yeah, like they, I feel like I've known them like forever. Like they're so, I get along with them so well. Like our dynamic, we work, we just work so well together, you know? <clears throat> and I mean, I haven't really had any like roommate problems, you know, like most people have like roommate problems, but we really <clears throat> haven't had that. Like. We work pretty well with each other, so That's yes, good. definitely gonna keep in contact with them. In fact, yeah. I miss them right now, so if you guys are watching this, I miss you guys so much. I know it's only been like three days, but... Yeah, I know that someone told me that like, your real friends are basically the, I think it was Gabe who actually told me this, but it was, it was the college friends that you will stick with like for a long time. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, but I haven't really felt that towards anyone here on campus. I mean, like I have a bunch of 
friends that I feel I'm close to enough yeah. to consider that like I'd hang out with them all the time if I stayed on campus, but being an off-campus student does it's have a little its, bit tougher. It's a bit weird. If yeah. Anything. Like I, I remember I'd been harboring on people about like how off-campus kids have it a little bit difficult when it comes to socializing, but I mean, again, if you try hard enough, which I don't think I have, then you will make those connections or stronger connections. Yeah. But right now, I, I feel fine. I mean, I'm hanging out with you guys, and I think that's just fine with me. I like that, actually. Like, yeah. Just having that close group of friends, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely. Like, if it weren't for DJ, if it weren't for tennis, I wouldn't meet you. I wouldn't have met you guys. Yeah, exactly. We um, wouldn't be where we are <laughs> oh, today. Dude. I'm just gonna drop the bomb here, but uh. I remember in high school, I'm pretty sure I noticed this before, but I just kind of like pretend it didn't happen. But I remember um, you were at a table, I was at a table too. I was right next to Addie, I wasn't aiming to give her like a side hug. But while I was doing that, you were right behind Addie. Like I somehow like got my arm like right across your boobs. Oh. As I was... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, and I, I can't laugh because I'm sick, so I have to cough, but... <laughs> no, no, I wanted to bring it up because, like, it's been, like, four years. And I I'm... never, I don't even remember that, so that's okay. Like, I, I remember when I was, like, reaching across to, like, to Addie's shoulder, I realized, like, that was it, and that was Heavy's boobs. Just, like, just go with it. Just go with it. Okay, just go. obviously, I didn't notice, or maybe I did just say anything. No. I don't remember this at all, No, so... I looked at the corner of your eye, you were like... Oh, okay, maybe I didn't know this. I don't know. I don't remember this. Okay, I just wanted to let you know that. It's four years from now, I'm sorry. Four years for, from now, I'm so sorry. Four years after the incident, I'm sorry for accidentally rubbing my arms across your boobs. Four years later, I accept this apology because I don't even remember, so... It could have been someone else. It would be weird if it was someone else. So maybe it's like, it was Gabe. <laughs> it reminds me of the um, video with, uh, I think, yeah, you were there too with the first person. Yeah, we were just like, sure you're a boy? I don't know, I think you can go either way with that one. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about as far as like, <laughs> what you've been up to? Um, not really. Um, no boyfriends yet. No boyfriend. Sorry. Although she's been telling me Oh, it's a special someone that she's been talking to. There is a cute boy that I'm very interested in, and he probably won't see this, but I'm not going to mention his name. But he is very cute, and I admire him a lot. So, boy, you probably what? know who you are. You are very cute, and I like you. Not to be weird. <laughs> but yes, no boyfriends. I am still single and ready to mingle, so... Uh, single, ready to mingle. Uh, yeah, and yeah, cute YouTubers <laughs> out there. I'm single. <laughs> yeah. This isn't this isn't Zeusk. <laughs> this isn't, 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 isn't Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my this god. isn't Zeusk. This isn't Grinder. Grinder is for gay people. I know that. <laughs> I know what Grinder is. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, also, as an ending note, I have seen Interstellar twice already. I'm about to see it a third time tomorrow. Whoever watches this podcast, please, please, for the love of the world and everything, please go see Interstellar. It will change your life. And I mean literally change your life. Like you will never look at the world the same way after watching this movie. You will feel so insignificant after watching this you movie. You sound like one of those like healthy diet documentaries. I do. <laughs> it will change your life. It will change your life. What Juicing will change your Juicing life. Juicing will change your life. Interstellar will change your life. Christopher Nolan is a genius. And Matthew McConaughey pff, blew my mind. So please see Interstellar. If possible, see it in IMAX because that's going to that's gonna be like the best experience you've ever had in your entire life. So yeah, I've seen it twice already. I saw it when I was in school. I'm gonna see it again tomorrow for a third time because it's just that good. AMC actually, AMC theaters did this thing where it was like, if you had like an AMC rewards card, you could buy an unlimited ticket to see Interstellar. Like you could go see it as many really? times as you want. You had this ticket, it's like, I forgot how much it was, but for like so much money, you have an Interstellar ticket that gives you like a free access. Like whenever you want to see it, you can go see it. Really, isn't yeah. it just for Interstellar? It's just for Interstellar. Wow. Because it was like, I don't know if so many people loved it. Really? Mm -hmm. Because I remember that uh, 
there's definitely movies I watched over and over as a kid, but oh, like, yeah. but as an adult, I can't really watch them like consecutively. Otherwise, I just get tired of it. I don't like, know I remember, why they did this for this movie. I don't, maybe because yeah. it was just so popular. I don't know, but yeah, I, I yeah, I think I'm guessing it's just that popular. Is yeah. it really something that people can watch over and over again? Like, is I think it takes maybe like two or three times to really like understand the movie. Oh, is it that because kind of, of like it's like it's scientifically accurate up to a point. And so, like, you watch it the first time, but you're so, like, blown away with, like, the visuals and the music that you don't really... Mm. You pay attention to the plot, but not as much. And then the second time you watch it, it's like, okay, you catch things that you didn't notice before, and you're like, oh, that's why yeah. this is this, and this is, you know. Yeah. But it deserves a third watching because I just love the movie. Would you, 10 out of 10, would recommend... 10 out of 10, would recommend. 11 out of 10, two thumbs up, three big toes up. That's for you, David. <laughs> If you're watching Interstellar. This. We're Interstellar. Not saying, we're not like we're not wanting to have a sponsorship with you, but uh, if you were to sponsor us, we would always talk about Interstellar. Like I can relate like, anything to Interstellar. We have its own like Interstellar plug, like we do with Rooster Teeth. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. You know, Rooster Teeth has their own pizza now. Do they? They do at Pizza really? Hut because they order like this like one pizza from Pizza Hut. It was like custom pizza. So now it is an a it's an official official pizza for Pizza Hut. So if really? you call them and ask them for the Rooster Teeth pizza, go actually go on their website and you order it. I think okay. if you call them too. Hold on, get... I need to look this up. <laughs> so uh, why don't we just um, shift gears to another topic? Uh, what would it be Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. Yeah. The so, joys of Thanksgiving. So. Uh, so when this podcast comes out, actually we recorded the day after Thanksgiving. So therefore, the, the night that we shoot this, we had Thanksgiving dinner or leftovers. I've actually had it twice. Thanksgiving one and two. I mean, aside from the usual like dinner, what do you do for um, Thanksgiving? Um, I helped clean the house for Thanksgiving and mm. helped set everything up. I made homemade mashed potatoes. Cool. And help my mom, you know, get everything situated. She mostly made like the dinner or whatever. And it wasn't like anything like big like last year. We had all the family come over. It was basically like us and then my brother's friend Zach, who's actually like part of the family now. So Oh. But it was it was it was small Thanksgiving, so we have a lot of leftovers, but that's good because I'm going home with a lot of leftovers. Nice. Nice. So I don't have to cook for a while. Yeah, it was pretty good. We just watched football and ate and played video games. It's really cool. Downloaded Project M for my brother. Oh, yeah. I don't, I'm not familiar with Project M. Um, it's really cool. It's a community-based thing where they took the aspects of melee, like the fighting aspects, and yeah. applied it to Brawl. And they basically created this thing where you download it onto an SD card, you just plug it into your Wii, and then, you know, you use your copy of Brawl and, it, you know, it's pretty cool. Huh. It's like they have like all the Pokemon separated, like separated. So it's like you can pick Squirtle, Charizard, you know, Ivysaur. Okay. So no Pokemon trainer. Um, Zero Suit Samus and Samus are two different characters, and so is Sheik and Zelda. And then they added Roy and Mewtwo to the roster because so many people liked those characters. And then they have like different like skins for them. Like Squirtle, you can choose like different colors for him. He even has a shiny option. That's what Smash Brothers should do. Like actually, instead of doing like alternate color palettes, how about like alternative things that are known to them? Or yeah. known to the, like, the fan base. Like yeah, it's, it's really cool. Like they, these people, you know, created this whole thing that works with Brawn, but it's so much better. It's, it's like the fighting is like, like Melee, you know, cause Melee is one of the greatest Smash Brothers games. So they use that and like they just adjusted the characters and stuff and like gave him like different costumes like like Peach she has a Shadow Queen costume from Paper Mario wow. the Thousand Year Door and it's the coolest thing ever and I was so excited I freaked out because I love I love that game that's like one of my favorite games to play so, see again that's what Smash Brothers should do it's I know just... I don't understand why they have it yet but yeah. so many people have Project M so many yeah. people have downloaded it and stuff so I'm I did sure it like, I'm sure the people who are behind the game are obviously hard at work in making the different characters, etc. But I feel oh, like yeah. I feel like they could push the extra envelope, even if it takes them like a little bit longer to like put it out there for the public. I feel like they should definitely, if anything, DLC. But I think oh I yeah, heard, I think I remember hearing new reading news about how uh, they were going to continue with DLC stuff. 
Like there's gonna be Me Too and that's it. Yeah, I so, know that they're putting, they're adding Me Too, but that's about it. So. Uh, it's depressing because that has so much potential to it. It does, it really does. Like, like I'd download it. I I'd, know. I'd want Me Too. I would want Me Too, heck yeah. Yeah. But Hopefully later on they'll have a, like a paid price. I can I can go with it. I'll, I'll accept that. I'll accept that. Yeah. But Thanksgiving was just full of food and video games, and I slept. I took a nap after eating the first time, and then I woke up from my nap and ate the second plate. And then I regretted that decision because I was really full. And that's what Thanksgiving does to you, but we love it every single year. All right, that's my favorite holiday. It, right, like right next to right next to um, Christmas. It's Basically, my favorite. actually, no, Thanksgiving then Halloween then Christmas because I love to dress up. So, what yeah. did you do for Thanksgiving? Uh, aside from eating, it was it was really just uh, working on projects and whatnot. Okay. I'm s like even though I'm on Thanksgiving break right now, the next two weeks afterwards is just like turning in and presenting stuff. You yeah. Know, final final papers, papers, projects, and presentations. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, it's a bit tedious, but like if you just work hard into it, knowing that I have like a, a winter break coming up ahead, then yeah, it's definitely durable. Okay. I could, I can dig it. I can dig it. it. And then um, I had Thanksgiving round two today at my aunt's house on my dad's side. We went to their house like not early this morning, but we left at like 11:30. Got there. At 12 30 fix an hour and uh we like by the time we got there like the food was already like there was turkey and there was ham and green beans and mashed potatoes and gravy and like like bread and then my mom made macaroni salads so we had macaroni salad and then we had like vegetables like it was so good oh my gosh i was so full i ate so much so much lots of food i am just Done. So yeah. done. Actually, we should always remember that like Thanksgiving is not only a time for like people to come together to eat gigantic food, loads of food, loads of food, like so much that I just fill up this entire table right here. Basically, but, um, <clears throat> I know that it's also a holiday where people should like remember to be thankful for whatever they have. So, and this, this is definitely true. Be thankful for what you have, guys yeah. out there, because there are people who have less than you. That's so true. please appreciate everything that you are given. Yeah, I think that's appreciate all... everything you've got, because yeah. you never know could be gone by tomorrow. So yeah. you gotta like, you know. I know that Gabe and I did an episode about like what we take for granted, and I think, again, reiterating what we've said before in that podcast episode is that you'll never really appreciate something until it's gone. So just do yeah. your best to exactly. try to take it or just try to appreciate it for what it is. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, I could have said it better though. <laughs> I could have said it better. Yeah, I could have said that so much better. Just stop stuttering. God. I hate myself. <laughs> Look it's away. Like, it's Look like away. when Gabe punched himself in the face in the car. <laughs> Every time I mention to him, he's just like, oh my God. It's so funny. I'm never gonna let him live that down. I know we have we have video evidence of that. Exactly, too. we have video evidence of him punching himself in the face. Wait, wait, what was the song? Oh, I forgot. Oh shoot, uh, you know that's just too many songs. I'll just you can figure you can find it. Yeah, it's, it's the mall vlog. It's yeah, it's the mall vlog. That was a fun trip. Yeah, we think about vlogging that time over there. I know that you hardly really vlogged at all. Well, actually, you did. You did. It's just like I don't know. Like, what do you think about vlogging? I like to vlog. I like. I don't know. I like filming every day because to me that's like memories i can look back on that yeah. and be like oh i remember when i did this with my friends or i remember when i talked about this like i'm always gonna look back on that as like a positive experience like, yeah if i could i would probably vlog yeah. but i would too but again like as i've said before several times is that it it, be, it starts to become draining at a point yeah especially when you don't give yourself breaks exactly so we got you really got to hand it to those daily vloggers who get it up every single day like, man, I, I know I can't do that. And plus, I don't think I'm interesting enough to, like, daily vlog. Yeah, I think that's like, they would thing. just be like, oh, she's going to class. Okay, she's coming back. Oh, she's eating macaroni and cheese. Oh, now she's playing Super Smash Brothers. Oh, she's getting ready for a party. Oh, she's going out to a party. I don't know. I mean, like, when you, I guess when you talk to someone, like, in person, I feel like they're suddenly more interesting. So I guess it's just based on, like, what you put in there. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I guess, like, whenever I'm with you, like, I'm not sure if I'd watch like daily vlogs of you every single day, yeah, 24/7. But I know that like I know you long enough that like if you were to talk about something for like five minutes at least, just without a camera or anything, I know that I'd be like engaged and I'd listen and I respond to that. So I think it's just based on just people who find different things interesting about you. So 
Yeah, yeah. I guess that's true. Yeah, I think people really cling on to people who um, just share their interests. With yeah, you. obviously. So like people with about Interstellar that you just have made a There's a whole subreddit about Interstellar. I've subscribed to that. So uh, Black Friday. Did Black. you go Black Friday shopping this year? I did not. You did not. I was just, you know, I was at home. I played Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and then um, I just kind of kicked it. I just kicked back from work and whatnot. Yeah. See, I wanted to go Black Friday shopping this year. Like, I was so set to come home and be like, all right, I'm going Black Friday shopping. Like, I'm going to get money. It's going to be great. I didn't go. It didn't happen. My mom and dad went Black Friday shopping this morning, like, really early in the morning. And so they got to go. I didn't get to go. I'm really sad because I really wanted to go. Mm. But. But there's always Cyber Monday, yeah, Cyber and I love to buy things online. So uh, just for the people at home who don't understand Cyber Monday, what is it? Cyber Monday is basically the uh, online equivalent of Black Friday where clothing websites and basically anything just slash their prices to just literally nothing. So you can buy a whole bunch of stuff for really cheap online, but you have to be fast because obviously they're going to sell out really quickly but the prices are like insanely cheap. Why do you think there is a Cyber Monday? I think it's because with like technological advances, like, okay, like not everyone's gonna go Black Friday shopping because it's too crazy, but they still want those good sales. Mm -hmm. And I think stores have recognized like, well, we'll make more money if like, you know, Black Friday and we also do online sales. It's like, what if these people can't go shopping, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think it just really expands it expands it to like people who aren't able to, you yeah. know, get out there and be like, oh, I want to go. So it's like a mutual shop. benefit. Yeah, you know. Profit, and then people will get the stuff they I want. I feel like you know, with the day and age now, most people, you know, mostly everyone has some sort of smartphone, you know. Right. So I think, or like you know, smartphone, tablet, PC, whatever. So I think that a uh, the Cyber Monday is you know came into came into play. Yeah, I always felt like maybe. That Cyber Monday exists because like company or industries just kind of like uh, book their retailers with a whole bunch of stuff because they know they're going to sell out really fast. Yeah. And so they'll have all these leftovers and like, oh shoot, what do we do with this? So I, I thought that's what Cyber Monday is about. I thought it was about like just kind of clearing those out. That could be it too. Yeah. But definitely. Um, I don't know, but hearing what you got to say, I think that's also the case as well. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I think they realize that, well, we can get a lot more people to buy things if we do online discounts as well. Cause so many people online shop nowadays. Like I love to online shop because I know it's like, like buying a gift for myself. I'm yeah. expecting it in the mail. I'm like, oh, yeah, I ordered have, something. You really don't have to go anywhere. Too. Exactly, you don't have to go anywhere. It's yeah. like you just buy stuff, you know, so. But, uh, I didn't get to go Black Friday shopping. I wanted to and I didn't. And now I'm gonna do Cyber Monday cause I really want sales and I want more clothes because I can never have enough clothes I'm a girl yeah. so I don't know guys also shop for clothes as well I just think that um hmm well yeah. I guess it depends on the individual that's true like I don't really need that many clothes but if I if I could I would like to like get like a new set of clothes just to yeah. wear because I've, I'm king out or all of these uh or tired of these clothes you know, I, again, shouldn't take it for granted. At my, least I have clothes. Yeah. My question is, is Black Friday as crazy as everyone makes it out to be? Because I've know. never experienced that, so I don't know. I don't know. Like, if you see it on vlogs, especially, when you see people, like, going out for Black Friday, you see the lines. Yeah. But I don't think you ever see the trampling. Jeez. Yeah, like, I've like always... When you hear on the news. Like, then oh. again, the news always focuses on more negative stuff. This is true. Especially like in Ferguson and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, except for the one part where I just remember the news about like one girl who just said like, I don't want to fight, I just want like a hug. And so you had this moment where like, like a policeman, like a woman just hugged and just, it was kind of like a little sweet moment where it's yeah. just like, to ease the tension. Exactly. Tension no bit, fighting, but... just love. Yeah. That's just what love, I like man. to go by. Just love. Just love, man. Ugh. Bruh. But uh, yeah, I've always wondered. I don't know. I didn't get. I didn't get to ask my mom that because I mean she went like really early this morning, like really early. So I mean they got most of the stuff they wanted, but it's all for Christmas time. Speaking of Christmas time, Christmas. The hype for Christmas is so real. I went to Macy's in October, the beginning of October. And you wanna know what I saw? I saw a big Christmas like extravaganza. There were Christmas trees and ornaments everywhere in the beginning of October. Halloween had not even happened yet. Macy's, what are you doing? Please try to contain yourselves. I know Christmas is exciting, but please let the other holidays have a chance. 
do. Like, like, like on our way over here to shoot the broadcast, I just noticed like a whole bunch of Christmas ornaments just being hung up on houses and whatnot. I'm like, man. Yeah, like the hype for Christmas is so real. Like man. so many people, it's like Halloween, Christmas, that's it. No Thanksgiving in the middle, just Halloween, Christmas. <laughs> yeah. In fact, even sometimes before um, Halloween, yeah, you see, see like Christmas trees being like on sale. It's like, Jeez. calm down, people. I know Christmas is exciting because I love Christmas. It's a time I get to spend with my family, and you know, you get a break from school, and it's just an all around happy time. But please, try to contain yourselves. I know the hype is real, but please. Speaking of Christmas hype, my dad goes crazy for Christmas. Halloween and Christmas, he decorates the house top to bottom. Like, it's intense. Like, I think I saw a hint of that when I was coming over. Yeah, no. Trust me, when you come like over like Christmas break to pick me up for like future podcasts, you will see, you will see that the hype is real for this man. It's always nice to have like those enthusiastic people. About, oh yeah, like, I love it. Kind of, it's great because it gets yeah. me into the spirit. I'm like, yeah, I'm so yeah. pumped. I don't know. Like uh, when it comes to Christmas, I remember that when I was little, I was always excited for Christmas because of the big Christmas boxes and yeah. presents and whatnot. You want But nowadays presents. it's just like, we know that Spoiler alert, Santa isn't real. <laughs> Santa isn't real, and I'm sorry that and, we ruined it for everyone. And really, everyone. It's, for the, it's really the parents and friends who make the presents for you, so. Oh, yeah. If anything, just order your own presents. Just, just order <laughs> your own presents. And don't forget presents. to make, like, have a present for someone else, at least. Because it's about Give giving. a gift, get a gift. Do a secret Santa. Those are fun. We should do that. We totally should. That would be so fun. Just, like, pick out names, like, so, okay. We totally should do that. Well, there's like five of us. I think we can make it work. Well, no, wait, five. Someone's gonna be the odd person who has to order for himself. Oh, yeah. That would wait, be that's weird. actually the luckiest person, though. Yeah, because they could just buy something for themselves and be like, wow, what is this gift? I'll give oh, you an my ugly gosh. Christmas sweater. Well, not for me, because I'm ordering for myself. I've always wanted an ugly Christmas sweater. Mm, I kind of looked at those and I was like, I kind of want one. I want one. I definitely want one. But for something I would wear just like once a year. I'm not this sure. is true. I have like these like Christmas like Six. leggings. Well, they're not leggings. They're like socks, but they like go up to like here. And yeah. I've only worn them once, and that was last year <laughs> during a Christmas party. And it was like the one time I haven't worn them since. So I mean, as long as like you don't like outgrow your their clothes, then yeah. I guess you can always wear them over and over again. I it's mean, just... obviously, I'm gonna pull them out this year. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna check the time once more. All right. Anything else we want to talk about as far as Christmas? Um. I'm excited because I asked for a 3DS this year and I really hope I get it because I want Super Smash Brothers 3DS and Tomodachi Life and Animal Crossing and uh, I don't know if I want Alpha Sapphire or Omega Ruby, I haven't decided, and Pokemon Y. I feel like I've gotten everything. I think Smash Brothers and Alpha Sapphire really I really for me. want a Wii U, but that's not happening because my mom said no because she said it's not worth it, but I'm going to get one anyways. Are you? Hopefully. I'm going to... On your own? Yeah, money? I'm going to get money and get a job and buy a Wii U just for Smash Brothers. That's it. All right. Just okay. for Smash Brothers. Just for Smash Brothers. That's the only, that's the sole reason. Yeah. And then of course like Mario Kart, but Smash Brothers. Yeah. But yeah, definitely Smash Brothers has been so addicting on 3DS. Oh, I know. It sounds like You know like the it. system's not meant for it. I know, but. But, you know, it's definitely worth it anyway. So I think that's all the time we have for this dang podcast episode. Uh, is there any closing statements that you wanted to talk about? Um, it's good to be back, even if it's only for these two. But I will be back in like two weeks for winter break, so you'll be seeing a lot more of me. For the next like however however weeks. long we have, yeah. Yeah, it's good to have Steffi back. Um, Thanksgiving has been nice with food and stuff, and I'm still busy as hell. I'm and, busy, uh, not as busy, <clears> but I'm well, pretty busy. Gonna have a lot of leftovers. I'm really excited for that. Actually, yeah, I'm not that busy, but I always say that just to keep my tensions high. Because sometimes you work well under pressure. This is true. And uh, Cyber Mondays, I'm not sure about that, but you know, it's always nice to have that option. Christmas, yeah, the keep hype the, is keep, real. They keep the hype down. Just keep little, it down a little bit. Teeny little bit. At least wait till like December. Except for Sammy's father. Just keep it up there. Just yeah. keep it on the. My high dad down. is just. Just do you, Dad. You do you. <laughs> and everyone else, uh, at least try to wait till like December 1st, maybe December 2nd. Wait, Gabe. No, you do you. You do you. I like smuckers. <laughs> I like smuckers. All right. So on that note, you guys have been watching episode 29 of Dang Podcast. My name is Justin. I'm Safi. And thanks for watching. Bye. Hashtag bye. Hashtag bye.